artist, Ingrid Anderson here. I tell you, I played your song, uh, I guess it was last week at some point, and I have a lot of artist friends that, at this point, another artist, you know? Right. But that being said, I had to, I'll call them out by name, Jake Owen text me. Do you know Jake Owen? Have you ever met him? I have not. Okay, so Jake Owen, he goes, you know, beach. You know that song? Yes. Okay. <laughs> he texted me, and he was like, love that song, and I'm a huge fan of her. Oh, wow. And then Ryan Hurd. Uh, do you know who Ryan Hurd is? I do, yes. Okay, so he also okay. was like, holy crap. So w- after I played your song and said I was such a huge fan of your song, all my other friends were like, we're huge fans too. We haven't met her yet. And I was like, book her up. Let's get her up here. <laughs> so we're very happy that you came in. Well, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. So what, what's your story? Where'd you grow up? Highlands Ranch, Colorado. That's near what? Um, Mountains. Ah, oh, yes. Because we're, we're, on in De- we're on in Denver. Our show's on in Denver. Oh, my gosh. Is that, near, uh, is that near Denver? It is, yeah. It's like 30 minutes south of Denver. So you lived in Denver f- for a while. Was your dad, your dad was a coach with the Rockies? He was, yeah, a strength coach. How cool is that? It was really cool. I got so- to rollerblade around the stadium when it was empty. So You mean any cool players back then? Um, Todd Helton was probably the nicest for sure. I mean, all of them are great. Matt Holiday. Shoot, now I'm playing favorites. No, that's okay. All of them I know, are great. I know Matt Holiday. He's a good dude. Oh, yeah. Matt Holiday's a dude when I went up to him. I know. You grabbed his bicep. When we're oh friends. Because he's huge. Your dad yeah. probably did that. Your dad probably made him that strong. Well, Bobby's like, yeah. casually, nonchalant. Normally, you'd like shake hands or whatever. Right. And Bobby's like, go straight for the arm because he really wanted but I, to squeeze it. I also know him. I know, but you, want, you wanted to feel it. I did. Yeah. yeah. Are they real? That's exactly it. Well, listen, Ingrid Andrews here. I think we should start with the song that I played, um, if you don't mind. Are you loose? Do you have your, do you have your tone? What are, you, what are you working with over there? What's that one called? This one's the Royal Grand. Um, we do have Jazzy Joey. Ooh. If we want to go with that I one. I like Jazzy Joey. I, know. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder who Joey is. Go ahead. Okay. What else you got? Mm, sci-fi. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is the vibe. That's like uh, Prince. And if the elevator, let's go crazy. What about, do you ever watch Friends? <gasps> yeah, I do. You know, you know when Ross would play on the keyboard and he'd be like, <laughs> That was his whole performance? Yeah, that was his whole performance. Do you have one of those? Let's see. I don't know. By the way, so. this is how, by the way, we don't even have a place to set a keyboard. She walked in and put it on the table, and then now she's playing because she's just yeah. rolling with it. Well, it doesn't look like. Oh, that's kind of one. Nope. Okay. We're back. Well, Next time you find that one, come w- back. I'll, yeah, we'll do I'll a special play performance, a laser show, just for you guys. Uh, so when you were, at, you went to Brooklyn School of Music. I did. And so Cara Diaguardi was your teacher. Yes, she taught a pop songwriting class there for a semester, and she scouted me out. And so what is she? Because I would know her from American Idol. Yes. Because she won American Idol. I was one of the judges for a while. Yes. And so what does she say to you? Um, she is. A boss and she basically told me when she first met like met me she was like you're good but like you're not that good yet so you have to get better and I was like okay and she's like you're not the only female blonde singer in the world so you better learn how to song right I was like oh my god I'm not did, wait did you guys have a relationship prior or was this the first conversation that you ever had <laughs> this, was, okay. this was like after weeks of her listening to my music and her being like I think you need to pursue this but you're not that great yet and I was like there's the American Idol judge coming out so then what does she tell you to do? Move to Nashville? No, I kind of just did that on my own. She was just, you know, Nashville was the, I knew it was the songwriting capital of the world. And I was like, well, that's a quick drive from Boston. It's better than LA. So I was just like, I, there are too many legends that live in Nashville songwriting wise for me not to live there. And so. when did you get here? Um, How long you been like here? Five or six years ago. Okay. Yeah, I've been here for a minute. Oh. It's weird that you've been here for that. So what have the last five or six years you've been hanging out writing songs? Yeah, um, I went out to L.A. a lot to write for other artists, like pop artists. And so, um, but I learned to song right here. I just kind of like songwriting everywhere, though. So I didn't just stay here for that long. I just kept traveling everywhere. So I still feel new here because I'm gone all the time. Ingrid Andrus, and we're going to play More Hearts Than Mine. And I, it's, I mean, you're, you're really good. How about that? That's, that's, that's really all I have to <laughs> Thank say. Thank you. I appreciate that. Amy, anything you would like to say to Ingrid? Same. I can't wait. I need to hear the rest of this song. I'm curious. And it, did you write that one? I did, yeah. Okay. And is it legit about your mom and dad? Yeah. Okay. I have a, live in a, well, I have a family of seven people, so it's, oh, wow. a, real, it's a real family story. Uh, of seven people, meaning yeah. they are all? We're all, yeah. I just phrased that weird. We're all from my mom. She's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you have a mom and a dad, and then you have four other siblings? Yes. Where do you fall on that list? Uh, I'm the second oldest, but we're all like stair step children, so we're like 13 months apart. Oh, wow. So they had a plan. Apparently. <laughs> we're very busy for a while. Very busy, and we were homeschooled at one point. Oh, so. my gosh. Yeah. Amy's wow. kids are homeschooled now. Yeah, but not by me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, who, taught, who taught you? Your parents? Uh, my mom did, yeah. And my dad did science and went over our heads. He was the smart one. So, Is it because you traveled around because your dad? Is that why you homeschooled? Yeah, so spring training for baseball is like two months out of the year, and it was kind of insane pulling us out of school and having to do that for two months. So my mom was just like, oh, let's just homeschool you. So. Where, where did you live during all your baseball days? Uh, obviously, you'd go down to Florida or, or where, yep. wherever they were Arizona having. Arizona was the other big one. Yeah. So you do that, and then he, where else did he coach? He coached the Rockies? Rockies. He started with Detroit Tigers, and then Rockies, and then New York Mets. Is there a pressure to be an athlete when your dad's a coach? Um. Well, I did sports more than music, actually. Music was kind of like an accident because it was like a hobby of mine, and nobody told me that you could do it as a career. So I would just played soccer and volleyball and wanted to go to college for that and um, didn't find out till later that you could actually be a musician as a job. And once I found that out, I like quit everything. I was like, why did nobody tell me this? <laughs> well, it's been a real, real treat having you playing here. And, and it's uh, it's good to meet you. Nice to and meet you. And you were too. so good. Weren't you better than? So good. Uh, yes. Than like everybody. Yeah. <laughs> no. Like, like, just, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Stop yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. I want to play her piano stuff. For, my daughter just started playing the piano. Oh, well. girl, get on over here. Well, I mean, I can just play her back this. Oh. And she can hear. And I'll be like, look, look at these girls. Like, you can do this if you practice. This will be the, because you said you hated it. She doesn't so much hate it, but she's new. Yeah. And then my son just started drums, which is a hot mess, but Woo! it's fine. So what happened with you and the drums? Um, well, I started a metal band in middle school. <laughs> um, Obviously. And yeah, clearly, <laughs> yeah. Um, I went through like a, a metal phase for a while. So, But then once that faded and I realized that, you know, me with short hair wasn't getting me any boyfriends. I just kind of moved on. So. All right. Well, I'm gonna um inter I'm gonna say some things about you. Play me out here on the keys. Just play me a little something as I talk over you. Go okay. ahead. All right. That is Ingrid Andrus. You can follow her on Instagram <laughs> at Ingrid A N D R E S S. She played Lady Like earlier, <laughs> and now she has a song called More Hearts Than Mine. That's right, right? Yeah. 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 And, I'm, <laughs> and I'm gonna play it right now, and it's about bringing a guy back home for the first time to meet the family, right? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm nailing this. You are. Look at you go. And here it is on the Bobby Bones Show. All right. Thank you very much. There it is. <laughs> it's a Bobby Bones Show.